Zauta, or Sutra Fell as it is sometimes called, is a considerable mountain situated to the eastward of Skidor and Blencathara. The west and north sides are barricaded with steep rocks, apparently 900 yards in height and everywhere difficult of access. A very remarkable phenomenon has exhibited itself on this mountain, which though difficult to account for satisfactorily, is too well authenticated by numerous spectators to be discredited. We allude to the appearance of troops of visionary horsemen, crossing the mountains, advancing, retreating, and performing different military evolutions, an optical delusion which has been observed in this vicinity to the great astonishment of the rustics of the Vale. The following account of this singular appearance, which is scarcely paralleled in history, is contained in Hutchison's History of Cumberland, the particulars being collected by a Mr. Smith, who observes that he went himself to examine the spectators, who asserted the facts very positively. On Midsummer Eve, 1735, a servant in the employ of William Lancaster of Blakehills, about half a mile from Sutterfell, related that he saw the east side of the mountain towards the summit, covered with a regular marching army for above an hour together. They consisted of distinct bodies of troops which appeared to proceed from an eminence in the north end and marched over a niche in the top, but as no other person in the neighbourhood had seen a similar appearance, he was discredited and laughed at. Two years after, on Midsummer Eve also, between the hours of eight and nine, William Lancaster himself imagined that several gentlemen were following their horses at a distance as if they had been hunting, and taking them for such paid no regard to it, till about ten minutes after again turning his head towards the place, they appeared to be mounted and a vast army following, five in rank crowding over at the same place, where the servant said he saw them two years before. He then called his family, who all agreed in the same opinion. What was most extraordinary, he frequently observed that some one of the five would quit the ranks and seem to stand in a fronting posture, as if he was observing and regulating the order of their march or taking account of the numbers, and after some time appeared to return full gallop to the station he had left, which they never failed to do as often as they quitted their lines, and the figure that did so was generally one of the middlemost men in the rank. As it grew later, they seemed more regardless of discipline and rather had the appearance of people riding from a market than an army, though they continued crowding on and marching off as long as there was light to see them. This phenomenon was no more observed till the remarkably serene midsummer evening which preceded the last Scotch rebellion. The parties who had witnessed it on the previous occasion, having been much ridiculed for their report, were determined to call a greater number of witnesses of this strange phenomenon. And having first observed it rigidly, and with great caution themselves, and being fully assured they were not deceived as to the actual appearances, they convened about 26 persons from different places in the neighborhood to bear testimony to the existence of the fact. These all affirmed and attested before a magistrate that they saw a similar appearance to that just described, but not conducted with the same regularity, having also the appearance of carriages interspersed. The numbers of the troops were incredible, for they filled lengthways nearly half a mile, and continued so in a brisk march for above an hour, and would probably have done so much longer had not the darkness of approaching night intervened.